Yo. Here we are today on the beautiful Ohio River. Got the state of Ohio on one side, beautiful state of West Virginia on the other side. My name's John Fitzpatrick. I'm from South Point, Ohio. Been with Gambler Lures for about 10 years. Proud to be a pro staff member. Love their products. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit today about my favorite bait, the Gambler Little Otter. I'm gonna tell you what makes this bait so much different from other baits and I'll help you catch a few little tips to help you catch some fish. <clears throat> First I'm gonna tell you basically I like a six and a half, seven foot rod, 20 pound test fluoro clear line. Also rigger always with the Gamp Pro Brass Gambler Pro Brass Rattling Sinker. Three odd hook. The hook pretty much takes up the whole bait. That's how we like to rigger and that's how I like to fish her. But I'm also going to talk to you a little bit more about the bait itself. I think what makes this bait so much better than other baits is the fact that uh, these little appendages on the side, the clippers, are like the tail of a swim bait. And when this bait's coming through the water, if you're pulling it at a faster rate, say like you're reeling it in to get ready to cast again, we have a lot of fish chase this bait right up out of the water. And I believe it's due to them appendages putting off a vibration as you're pulling the bait through the water. So if you watch when you're fishing this bait, no other bait has that. Any, any other crawdad type bait does not have that on it. So if you fish this bait, you watch when you're pulling it up to make another cast, you could see one and get you get drop it right back down to it and catch that fish. We do this a lot, it helps. What I like to do now is my, my little trick and a little secret that I like to keep is I take it, I fold the tail in half, is what I do with it. I fold her in half, take me a pair of scissors, and I cut an upward V, and then a downward V in that bait. Tear out that little piece of plastic, and that gives you a like a diamond shape in that bait. Then I'll go back and split that tail right in half, and it kind of makes like little pinchers on there. And I believe that adds a little extra to the bait. Gives a little better profile coming through the water. Hopefully you can hear me over the motorcycle in the background. Love nature. But uh, this is a little trick we use on the bait. Cutting that in there just, just gives it a little extra look that we think sometimes when the bite's hard that the fish go to. And they will, you know, they will. It's, it's just a confidence thing for me. That's my little secret right there. Cut you a little chunk out of the tail. Another thing is it never hurts, depending on where you're fishing at sometimes, to add a little garlic collar. So if you try these tips next time you're out, you buy you a bag of a little water, you give her a try and you see if it don't help you catch some fish. Thank you very much.